guys, it's me, Mrs. C0916. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. Um, this video today is going to be a lot different from the videos that I've done before because I was kind of given the inspiration from my husband to do it and at first I was like, mm, I don't know because I don't know if I want to keep that part of my life private but you know what, I've noticed that there were other women on YouTube doing these type of videos as well so I was like, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, I was also um, inspired to do this video from a young lady here on YouTube. I hope I'm saying her name right. It's 86 Pages S. I'll be sure to put her um, name down below. And she too is a military wife, spouse, whatever you have. And she recently did a video about some pre-deployment tips or just whatever, you know, is whatever helps her to get through and prepare for deployment. So I just jotted down on my little sheet of paper here um, some things that have helped me and my children as well. I am currently um, going through deployment. My husband is. He's currently away on, this is his second, I'm sorry, third deployment. First for us as a family, as a wife and family and everything. So I will say that he was originally stationed in Fort Hood and this was I think his second or third time being stationed there. And for some of you guys that maybe are curious, like, yes, he was there during the recent shooting here back in April, and he was okay, and I'm not really going to get into that because I just don't want to discuss that here on um, YouTube, but yes, thanks for prayers and all that stuff, people that knew he was there. So anyway, he was stationed there, and now he is away um, doing that right now. So, a couple things that I have found um, that are working for us is um, hobbies. I've recently, not recently, but before he left, we were both really into the gym and still are very much so. And I find myself even more gung-ho about going to the gym. I go at least twice a week. And it's very convenient because my daughter, she has karate. One of my daughters has karate. Um, a couple times a week to at the same particular gym where I go so um, just get yourself into hobbies you know uh, say like volunteer work things like that just things that'll keep your mind occupied um, during the deployment um, term another thing time time is something that is not always on our side but um, you just have to find, like I said, find things that will make the time go by. For me, for example, um, this kind of goes into with my kids. When we knew that he was going to be deploying, I said, okay, let's keep the girls involved and busy and stuff. So one daughter is involved in karate, another daughter is involved in soccer, and uh, the last daughter is involved in tap and ballet as well. So there's just, you know different things that keeps me busy as well because I'm running here, dropping this one off here, blah, 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 and so forth. And another thing is um, your church routine. I don't know, whatever your faith may be, but I'm Christian, and I find myself <clears throat> sticking close to my church family. My pastor is uh, my father, so that's always a plus. And, you know, I have uh, my stepmother who's co-pastor, and I have... Uh, church family there and so you know just stick with a good um, spiritual base and that'll keep you grounded and everything you know and it'll really truly make the time go by fast because there will be times when you will get lonely and you just feel like throwing your hands up because I know there's been times I felt like that and sometimes I just have to ask God to you know give me strength that's my main thing that I always ask God for is strength for me and my daughters um, social media. This is, I learned this at one of the yellow ribbons that we went to. Social media is a really touchy issue because when we were at the yellow ribbon, um, like conference, they were telling us to be really mindful of the things that spouses and family members or whoever put on Facebook, especially pre-deployment and deployment because it's a security issue. I mean, for me, I was like really like iffy about people saying, oh, hey, when is he leaving or when is he deploying or where is he at? You know, that would really kind of like 
boil my blood a little bit because it was kind of like I didn't want to be rude but at the same time it's like I'm it's not good to broadcast your spouse's location all that type of thing I'm not gonna get into that but it's just not good to do um, because obviously we know Facebook is you know Facebook Twitter or whatever are open to the public and you just never know who's on there and for my safety and my children's safety I just choose not to post everything I mean even like my husband had posted something and I was like are you crazy like why would you post that but you know we just kind of dealt with it you know however so that's a real big thing is to really be careful about what you're putting on these social media networks because sometimes people look at that and kind of get all kind of crazy ideas in their head I mean it's I'm sorry to say that but it's true so as far as your family safety and your safety you just want to be really mindful of what you put on these social media sites uh, last but not least spousal interaction I am truly like a big advocate for this I we before before he left we set up Skype accounts we set up tango accounts to where we can see each other and the kids can see him and it just it's making this whole journey so much more smoother than just talking over the phone I mean you know it's kinda cute because we've tried to set up like a Skype date over the phone and you know talking about you know the kids and all types of stuff and we even had a situation where my daughter was getting ready to test for purple belt in karate and he wanted to see that so what I did I brought my laptop to the testing and he was able to Skype in and watch her whole testing of her getting her purple bell and her teacher and coaches were so considerate and you know nice enough for to let me do that so he so it was nice for him to see his daughter receive her purple belt so yeah internet and all that type of stuff you know whatever if you FaceTime that type of thing those things are really important, you know, especially for military spouses like myself. And care packages are like, you know, gold to them when you send them care packages. I mean, my husband has gotten a couple and he's loved them. Everything that he's, you know, sent for, we've, you know, sent it to him. And um, it's just really nice and, and nice to know. And it's a good thing to keep communication with some of the other soldiers that there may be over there with. I've gotten... Um, really you're not really close but you know become friends with some of the other um, soldiers that he's over there with and also the spouses um, it's really nice that um, one of the spouses she set up a closed page for just our group of spouses that were over there and we all communicate via Facebook we uh, post pictures of our kids and what's going on and just little um, uplifting messages to one another to say you know what we're here for each other we're in this together and so I'm just so glad that she decided to do that because you know not many wives feel like they have anybody else that's in their shoes but trust me there's someone that's in your shoes so that's pretty much it um, what I could think of what's helping me um, like I said I really uh, this is all new to me but I'm just at the beginning stages of it I'm like maybe like three months in so I'm just thankful for the strength from God and my family and my support system here that I have because it's not easy some days are better than others but um, hopefully this video can help you and someone else that may be going through the same uh, deployment and circumstances as I am so if you want to see more videos like this you know regarding military spouses or anything just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to do that for you guys see you later